Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to LIDA the final F series. I hope you have seen the previous episodes of the series. Uh, the agenda is same. We are going to attempt CAT 2022 slot 1 paper so that we can have an idea how to attempt the paper and to go, to solve two sets within the 40 minutes time limit. Okay, so that we can score around 99 plus percentile in actual CAT. So the first set goes like this. There are 15 girls and some boys among the graduating students in the class. There are They are planning a get together which can be either a one day event or a two day event or a three day event. There are six singers in the class and four of them are boys. There are 10 dancers in the class, four of them are girls. No dancer in the class is a singer. Some of the students are not interested in attending the get together. Fine. So they are not interested at all. Those students who are interested in attending a three day event, they are also interested in attending two day event. Those who are interested in attending a two day event are also interested in attending one day event. So basically people are saying that teen din ka event kar lete, nahi to do din ka kar lete, nahi to ek din ka. Those who are ready to come for any number of days, which is maximum three days out of them, they are saying we can come for two days also. And those who are ready to come for two days, they are saying I'm ready to come for one day also. Let's have a get together somehow. So all the girls and 80% of the boys, 100% of the girls and 80% of the boys are interested in attending one day event. 60% of the boys are interested in attending a two day event. So it has inherent, you know, uh, information that people who are ready to come for three days, they are ready to come for two days also, fine. So some of the people are going to be ready for only two days. Some of the people are going to be ready for only one day. Fine. Let's read a couple of more statements to have an idea what is to be done. Some of the girls are interested in attending a one day event, but not a two day event. Some of the other girls are interested in attending both. That's what the idea is. 70% of the boys who are interested in attending a two day event are neither singers nor dancers. 60% of the girls who are interested in attending a two day event are neither singers nor dancers. A very confusing sort of set. We have to make a table or whatever we have to draw. It's going to be you know, a little tedious to start with. We'll probably come back to this set if we, have, if we don't have any other set to solve. Fine. So this is not the first set I'm going to start with. Let's read the question as well to be very much sure about it. How many boys are there in the class? That's okay. This is the first question, straightforward one. Which of the following can be determined from the given information? Fine. So it's practically complete information I'm not going to draw from the statements. Otherwise, question cannot be like this. Fine. What fraction of the class are interested in attending two-day event? So again, somehow we can determine this. What best can be concluded about the number of male dancers who are interested in attending one-day event? Five or six, four or six. So we might get cases in the particular case, particular question and basically the question itself is a complex one. Data is not very straightforward and the questions are also suggesting that we are, we will be having, you know, cases in this particular question. So let's skip this set for now. Let's, let's start reading some other set. This is set number two. The management of a university hockey team was evaluating performance of the four women player A, B, H, S for their possible selection in the university team for the next year. For this purpose, the management was looking at the number of goals scored by them in the past eight matches. Numbered fund to eight, fine. Four players together had scored a total of how many goals? 12 goals. So there are four girls, A, B, H, S. They scored 12 goals in eight matches combined in total. In the eight matches, each of them had scored at least one goal. That means everybody scored at least one goal. Nobody is there who is not going to score any goal. In eight matches, everybody scored at least one goal. That doesn't mean in every match they scored at least one goal. They are, that statement is suggesting in eight matches played, eight matches considered, everybody scored at least one goal, all the matches taken together. So nobody is going to score zero goals in all the matches taken together. Some There is a possibility that some of them will score one goal, some of them will score two goals, but nobody will score zero goals in all the matches combined. No two players had scored the same number of total goals. So that is a very key information that we have to you know take care of. No two students scored the same number of goals. If I want to attempt this set, let's keep this in mind. I'm not going to write this. So no two students attempt the same number of goals. Uh, had scored same number of goals, that's perfect. The following facts are known about the goals scored by these four players. All the questions refer only to the goals scored by these four players, perfect. Only one goal was scored in every even numbered match. Harita scored more goals than Bimla. Highest goals scorer 
scored goals in exactly three matches, including match four and match eight. It doesn't look a complex set. Fine. So I would like to start from this particular set. Let's set. Let's see how it goes. It's better than the first set. Fine. So let's start with the particular set. I'm not going to read all the four sets before. Uh, to start with, it's going to be too much pressure to handle. Fine. So let's start with this set only. So let's see the questions also. How many goals were scored in match seven? Which of the following is the correct sequence of the goals scored? Which of the following statement is that true? Okay. Which of the following statement is that false? If Arita has scored, that means there are cases also. But this information is suggesting it's not a complex one. So we can directly start solving this question. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So we'll take the information of uh, this particular question. Uh, this information, the points. We'll, we'll take this this information to the different slides so that we can solve the question. What we have to keep in mind: twelve goals in total. Eight matches played. Fine. And no two player had scored the same number of goals. Everybody will be scoring different number of goals. Okay. That means this is a possibility that one, two, three, or seven, something like this. One, two, three, six. There is a possibility. Six plus three, nine plus two, eleven plus one, twelve. That means no two numbers are going to be same. I have not read the instruction as of now, so let's see what how it goes. But no two numbers are going to be same in terms of the number goals scored by any of the four players. Okay. So let's take this information to different slides that we can solve the question. Obviously, we have to draw a table match wise. There are eight matches played, match one to match eight, and four players A, B, H, S. So let's draw a table. The table is B like this is A, this is B, this is H and this is S. I'm going to write match one, match two, match three, match four, match five, match six, match seven. Last one is match eight, and here here I'm going to write total goals scored. Okay, that's what we have as of now. Now let's understand what else is given. Only one goal was scored in every even numbered match. It's pretty simple to identify. One goal is scored here, one goal is scored here, one goal is scored here, one goal is scored here. I don't know who scored that goal, but exactly one goal was scored in match two, four, six, and eight. Fine. That means remaining match one, match three, match five, and match seven goals are going to be eight in total because total number of goals are twelve. If match two, match four, match six, and match eight each of them has one goals. That means the remaining four matches, match one, match three, match five, and match seven, will have eight goals in total. Twelve minus four, fine. So we don't have to write it. So total twelve goals are there. Harita scored more goals than Vimla. That is a very important information. So we have to write it somewhere. Harita scored more goals than Vimla. Fine. This is the information. We have to keep that in mind. That's okay. Highest goal scorer scored goals in exactly three matches, including match four and match eight. So the person who is going to score the highest goals, let's write this. That person will score in three matches: match four, match four. Only one goal is scored. Match uh, one more match is mentioned. Match eight. In match eight, only one goal is scored. That goal will be scored by the scorer who is going to score highest number goals. Fine. That goal which is scored in match go four that will be scored by the person or the girl or the player who is going to score the highest number of goals. Okay. That's what the idea is. Match four and match eight. Fine. What else is given? Bimla scored a goals in match one. The first entry I can fill here. Bimla scored one goal in match one. Fine. And Three other consecutive matches, or one in each three other consecutive matches. That means Bimla scored four goals, or greater than equal to four, I can say, because she scored one goal in match one, and one goal in three other consecutive matches. One and one each in three other consecutive matches. That means she must have scored four goals or more. Fine. So if I look at this particular point, somebody scored four goals and more. Uh, Bimla is that person, and Harita might have scored more than. I mean, Harita might have scored five goals or six goals. Let's make cases out of it. Let's say Harita is uh, Bimla is scoring four goals exactly. Harita will score five goals. Bimla will scoring four goals, and Harita is scoring six goals. There is a possibility. Bimla is scoring five goals. Harita is scoring six goals. Fine. Bimla is scoring six goals. Harita is scoring six goals. These are outrightly cancelled. Why? Because if these two are scoring eleven goals, then the remaining two players. 
will score one goal in total, zero or one. I don't know in which order, but that is not possible. Everybody scored at least one goal. So this case is out of question. And with the same reason, this case is also out of question. If these two are scoring 12 goals among themselves, there is, there is no possibility that any of the remaining two persons are going to score any goals. But it is mentioned in the question, everybody scored at least one goals. We have understood this point thoroughly. So this case is not valid. This case is not valid. Now, if the six goals are scored by Harita and Bimla is scoring four goals, first in the foremost thing I can conclude here, Bimla must have scored four goals, exactly four. Neither less than four, nor more than four. Okay, these two cases are eliminated. Four goals in total, fine. And she is scoring three goals in three consecutive matches, one after the other. Apart from this, these, these are the matches which cannot be the matches which we are talking about because it will be four consecutive matches, okay. So let's not get into it. Understand what is happening next. So Bimla has scored four goals. If Harita is scoring six goals, again, this case is not possible because six plus five is 11. The goals are six plus four is 10. And both of them are scoring one goals. This is not equal. This is not pos possible to be equal. Basically, remaining two people cannot have the same number of goals. We have already concluded no two of them have scored the same number of goals. Yes. Everybody was scoring different number of goals in total. So this case is again not valid because of this reason that these two are scoring same number of goals. Okay. So that means there is a lone possibility five and four. Harita scored how many goals? Five goals. Fine. And Bimla scored how many goals? Four goals. And remaining two players scored two goals or one goal or one goal or two goal in any order because five plus four is nine. I'm left with two, two persons to score three goals. No of two of them are going to have the same goals, so that cannot be 3-0. Fine, so 2 and, two and 1 is the only possibility. I don't know who scored two goals. Let us assume she scored two goals. Then the other person, Sarita, will score one goal. And if Amala is scoring one goal, this uh, Sarita will score two goals. That is the possibility which we have. I don't know as of now what is going to happen. But this is what I can conclude. That means Harita scored maximum number of goals. Harita scored maximum number of goals and she scored goals in match four and match eight. Harita scored maximum number of goals and the person who is going to score the maximum number of goals will score in match four and match eight. That's what already given in the statement. Statement three I'm talking about. The highest goal scorer scored goals in exactly three matches including match four and match eight. Right? So Harita scored these goals match eight and match four ka goals one one scored by Harita. And this can clearly conclude that here it's going to be cross because nobody must have scored any other goals because one goal is supposed to be scored in match 8 and that's goal scored by Harita. And similarly match 4 is going to have one goal and that goal is scored by Harita only. So nobody else will score any more goals. Understood this point? Fine. Uh, Bimla has scored how many goals? Four goals. And these three consecutive goals can happen only here. Yes, three consecutive goals in three matches. Basically, Bimla scored a goal in match one and one in each other, each one, each in three other consecutive matches. So three consecutive matches, that is the only possibility. There is a break between the two. So match four is it between match three and match five. So I cannot say these are going to be consecutive. Okay. So this is a possibility of having consecutive matches only. That means Bimla have scored four goals. So she will not be scoring any goals here. She will not be scoring any goals here. She already scored four goals. Fine. Let's see what else we can do. One, one, one. So um, this is the information we have of now. Let's see what is going to happen. One goal is scored in this match. One goal is scored in this match. One in this match. One. We, we can cross this also. Why? Because one goal was scored by Harita in the match uh, four and match eight. And Bimla scored one goal in match six, which is going to have a total of one goal. So this cannot be the case where anybody else is going to score any more goals. Is there anything which you can conclude from this? No, the rest of the matches are already taken care of. So this is what we can conclude from this information as of now. Two, one, five, four and one, one, we have already taken care of. So let's erase it now. It's not necessary to write anything now. Okay, this is what we have as of now. Um, let's move ahead then. We cannot find out any other arrangement here because 2, 1, 1, 2, I don't know. Match, uh, Bimla, I know the matches, I know the goals. And Harita, I know matches, two matches. I don't know the third match where she scored three goals. 
in the match which i don't know she must have scored three goals in which match is going to happen i don't know fine so let's move ahead then an equal number of goals were scored in match three and match seven so match three had equal number of goals as match seven perfect which was different from the number of goals it scored in match one and match five fine so a and a is the number of goals and this is different from match one and match five so let's say these are the goals b and these are the goals c i'm assuming it to be some number i don't know so i'll assume it to be some variable fine now what is concluded here that the number of goals scored in these three matches the these remaining four matches is eight total 12 goals were scored i know the status of four goals so the remaining goals should be eight so what i can conclude from it that 2a plus b plus c should be 12 minus 4 which is equal to 8 fine and one more thing i can conclude that a has to be greater than or equal to 1 it cannot be zero because in match 7 one goal is already scored a is greater than or equal to zero greater than or equal to 1 i'm sorry not zero greater than or equal to 1 because match 7 is already having one goal so a cannot be zero now let's read point number 6 the match in which the highest number of goals was scored was unique and it was not match 5 so in a match highest number of goals was scored that is unique that means no other match will have same num that many goals in which highest number of goals were scored and that is not match 5 so this is not highest number of goals c cannot be the value which is highest this cannot be maximum why because it is unique so in which the maximum number of goals are scored match 1 match 1 is a match where maximum number of goals are scored fine so b has to be bigger number than c and bigger number than a obviously a has to be greater than or equal to 1 let's make cases out of it if, if i say a b and c if a is 1 b and c is going to be 6 Two a is what? Two, eight minus two is six. B and C summation is going to be six. I can say B is more than C, obviously. So B is can be four. It is two. Three three is not a possibility because B is more than C. Fine. What else we can do? If I say A is two, so two into two is four. So I'll be left with four goals to be arranged among them these two teams. So it's going to be three and one. Fine. Two into A is four. This look at the number. It's not a. It's two a. Two into a is four. Four subtracted from eight, I'll be getting b plus c, which is equal to four. B is supposed to be more than c, so it's going to be three. Fine. If I say it is six, six, this will be one one, or two zero. That is practically not possible, so don't need to even write it. These are the two possibilities we have. So what I could conclude from this case, either b is four, one is a, and c is two. And uh, A is two, B is three, and C is one. Let's see what else we can do from this information. Okay, so this is what we can conclude as for as of now. Harita scored three goals in a match. Fine, and that match can only be the match in which maximum number of goals are scored. I'll tell you why. If I look at this information, if I take this case, let's say case A is two, B is three, and C is one. A is two. I'm just erasing it. This is not maximum. If a is two, I've already established that uh, b is the maximum uh, number of goals. So if a is two, this is two, fine. A is two, a is two, b is three, and c is one. Is this feasible? I don't think so. I'll tell you why. Because if the number of goals scored by Harita is three, that cannot be in match one, match two. Why? Because match two is having only one goal. that means it is in fact not possible for areta to score three goals in any match which is even numbered because even numbered matches are having only one goal so areta cannot score three goals here 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 here and here because the total number of goals are 2 1 and 2 so areta has to score three goals here and if 3 and plus 1 is added that is 4 which is contradictory so this is practically not the case which is possible fine right? Harita scored three goals in all the matches because she scored total five goals, and I have the idea about the remaining two goals. Remaining three goals out of five, she'll be scoring in match in which highest number of goals are scored because none of the other cases are possible. 
this is one, this is two, this is one, this is one, this is one, this is two, this is one. So in no other matches she can score three goals. That is the only possibility she can score three goals in match number one. Fine. But this is not case is possible. Why? Because three plus one has to be four and it is coming out to be three, which is contradictory. So let's let's you know ignore this case. Let's uh, go for the different case now. Fine. Which case is it? This is ignored. This is incorrect. This cannot be the possibility. Okay. Let's take this one. This is sure, surely has to be the possibility if the question is correct. So B is 4 and A is 1. I rate A is 1. C is 1. A is 1. Fine. A. A. Match 1 and match 5. Match 3, match 7 scores were same. And match 5 was... Uh, it is 2 and B is 4 B is 4 fine so if 4 goals are scored in match 1 and there is no other match in which I can accommodate these 3 goals the Harita must have scored the remaining 3 goals in match 1 fine now we are done with this okay this match 1 is accommodated completely match 3, match 4 status I don't know Match 5 status I don't know. Match 7 status I definitely know. Only one goal is supposed to be scored here. Fine. So we have you know understood the information as of now. Whatever we have, we can conclude this much from it. Okay. There is no other possibility which I can go for. Fine. So let's take this information and try to answer the question. This is first question of this set. Uh, how many goals were scored in match 7? It's pretty easy one. Straightforward. Match 7, how many goals were scored? Only one goal were scored. So answer is D Delhi in this case. Which of the following is the correct sequence of goals scored in match 1, 3, 5, 7? Match 1, it is 4 goals. Match 3, it is 1 goal. Match 5, it is 2 goals. And match 7, it is 1 goal. So 4, 1, 2, 1. Answer is B. Fine. That's what it is. Question number eight. Which of the following statement is are true? Amala and Sarita never scored goals in the same match. Amala has to score, let's say, two goals, and Samrita has to score one goal. What I can definitely conclude: one goal is to be scored in this match, one in this match, and one in this match. Because out of two goals, one is already scored by Bimala. So if these two people are going to score three goals, and they are going to score in three different matches. Either match 2, match 3 or let's say Amla is scoring here and here, then Sarita will score here. Or Amla is scoring here, Sarita will score here. Either of the cases, they are not going to make a possibility where they are scoring goals in the same matches. Okay, Because total number of goals are 3, total number of matches are 3. So they have to score different, uh, they have to score those goals in different matches. Right? So that's first statement absolutely correct. Harita and Sarita never scored a goal in the same match. Harita and Sarita. Harita scored in match 3, match 1. Sarita did not score in that. In match 4, Sarita cannot score in that match. And uh, match 8, where Sarita cannot score. So both the statements are true. So my answer is both the statements. Fine. Question number 9. Which of the following statement is are false? Statement 1, in every match at least one goal, every at least one player has scored a goal. That's okay. In every match there is a goal. That statement is true. No player scored goals in the same number of matches. If I talk about this match, if Amla is going to score two goals, she's supposed to. We have just discussed this. One goal is here, one goal is here, one goal is here. Amla scored goals in four matches. Sorry, Bimila. And Harita scored in three matches. Fine. Sarita scored either two match, two go in two matches or one match if Sarita is going to score in two matches Harita will score in Amla will score in one match and if Amla is going to score in two matches Sarita will score in one match either which way the second statement is also true so that means both the statements are true okay answer is T Delhi fine with this let's move to question number 10 if Harita scored goals in one more match as compared to Sarita Harita scored goals in three matches. That means Sarita should score goals in two matches. Fine, in two different matches. And then Amala will score in one match because she has to score only one goal then because she will be scoring two goals. 
so she is scoring two goals i'll say okay she is scoring two goals in this particular scenario yes who is going to score in two goals in two matches she is scoring goals they she cannot score in the same match because i have already concluded these three matches are vacant where one goal is to be scored by uh, amla and sarita each one of the matches okay so she will amla will score only one goal in that case right, let's answer what the question is asking for uh, which of the following statement is necessarily true amla scored goals in consecutive matches that's absolutely not true because she did not score even two goals forget about consecutive Sarita scored goals in consecutive matches. Sarita scored goals in consecutive matches. Directly, that is practically not possible, not necessarily true. In fact, because if Sarita scoring goals here and here, there is a possibility. Amala scoring goals here, so that is not necessarily true. The question is asking for necessarily true. So this statement is not necessarily true. Answer is both the statements are not necessarily true. Fine with this. given above is the schematic map of the metro line in a city with rectangle donating terminal stations diamond donating junction stations and small fields of circular donating other stations each train runs either in east west or north south direction but not both all train stops for 2 minutes at each of the junction stations fine so that is junction stations 2 minutes stop is there on the way and for 1 minute at each of the other stations okay it takes 2 minutes to reach the next station the train is going north east west direction 2 minutes fine and 3 minutes to to the to reach the next station uh, for the train going north south direction so that is 3 minutes it looks like a scheduling problem so a uh, lot of information is also given let's read we don't have much of time so let's read the question as well hari is ready to board a train at 805 am from station m then when is the earliest that he can reach the station end so we this is definitely another set we are going to attempt because obvious reasons a lot of chances of making a mistake scheduling is a very complex job especially in such kind of situation when the time gap is very less and the direction is also changing the time limit fine so let's let's skip this as of now let's see the next set a b c d e and f are the interviewers in the process that award funding for the new initiatives for every interviewer individually every individual every interview individually interviews each of the candidates individually fine so one on one interview and award token if only she recommends funding fine a token is a face value of 2 3 5 7 11 or 13 prime numbers very simple ones each interviewer award tokens of the single face value only that means if somebody is awarding token face value of rupees 2 or 2 that will award that person will award only to, uh, token of face value 2 fine once all six interviews are over for the for the candidate the candidate receives the funding that is 1000 times the product of the face value of all the tokens for an example if the candidate has token with face value of 257 then only they only get a funding of rupees 1000 into 2 into 5 into 7 that is 70000 something like this uh, pragya Pragyana and uh, Kaira P Q R S basically and T P Q R S and T uh, were five candidates who received funding. The funds they received in descending order were three lakh ninety thousand, two lakh seventy thousand, two lakh ten thousand. I'm sorry, one lakh sixty five thousand, seventy seven thousand, and sixty six thousand. So thousand is absolutely of no use. Nine thousand is not going to impact anything because we have to find out the product of these prime numbers to make three ninety, two hundred and ten, one sixty five, and seventy seven, and sixty six. Okay. So this is something which we can do in the remaining time limit. So let's let's move to the next question page also. How many tokens did Kahara received? Who among the following definitely received the token from B T but not from Dhanvi? So let's let's start this particular set. We are going to make a table out of it. The table is will be like this. Three uh, ninety. We'll write the numbers. We have to write all the numbers in its prime factorization. Why? Because I don't know who is re you know reward who is awarding what. token so let's have an idea of it and because limited number of tokens are awarded everybody is getting limited amount so we have to figure out what is the frequency of each token so 390 can be factorized as 2 into 5 into 3 into 13 i can factorize 210 as well that is 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 i don't need 1000 that's why i'm factorizing these numbers only 165 that is uh, 5 Into three into eleven precisely, seventy-seven. That is seven into eleven. 
and last is 66 that is 2 into 3 into 11 so what is the frequency of token of phase value 2 what is the frequency of phase value 3 then 5 then 7 then 11 then 13 13 is very easy to figure out only one of them is rewarding 13 phase value token fine and uh, phase value of 2 uh, 1 2 and 3 three tokens are awarded of phase value 2 phase value 3 1 2 and 3 fine and 4 i'm sorry it's 4 phase value 5 1 2 3 phase value 11 1 2 and 3 and phase value 7 1 and so three how many times four times two how many times three times 13 how many times one time we have written everything now let's see the statements uh, i'll write the name here uh, persons are a b c d e and f and those who are getting interviewed or getting funding is p q r s and t okay fatima awarded token to everyone except kahra what does it mean Fatima is giving tokens to four people. So we have to use the token which is having a frequency of four. Fatima is giving four tokens. So we can use only that token which is having a frequency of four. So that is three. So Fatima is awarding token phase value three. And that is the token she is giving to everybody except Kaira. So three, three, three. Each one of us getting token phase value of three. Frequency has to be meshed. She is giving four tokens. So only token the, she can award, which is having a frequency of four. That is the only token which she can award. And free, uh, token number three or token with phase value three is having frequency four. That means if she is not getting token number three, that means she is getting the funding funding which is not the multiple of three. Kaira is getting a you know, funding which is not a multiple of three. This is a multiple of three. She cannot get this. She cannot get this. She cannot get this. She cannot get this. That means she is getting funding of. 77 pretty straightforward to identify as of now yes fine she's getting a funding of 77 crores what else what else 77 into 1000 77000 fine while adhara awarded token to no one except pragyana so with the same logic uh, a will be awarded token which is having frequency 1 that is because she is giving only one token fine so that is 13 13 number token is awarded by a and that token is given to P only. Fine. Nobody else is getting that token. What does it mean? She is getting 390 into 1000 into funding. Why? Because that is a low number which is multiple of 13. Point taken. Okay. What else we can conclude? She is getting 77. She is getting uh, 390. What else? Rashida received the highest number of token that anyone received. So 390 is made up of four tokens and Rashida cannot receive 390 because that is received by a P. So she'll be receiving 210 in terms of funding. That is because she's getting maximum number of tokens that is four. So Rashida will be getting 210. Fine. That means that means she'll be getting funding from four people who those who are giving two, three, five and seven number tokens. Understood? Those who are giving away 2, 3, 5 and 7 number of tokens. Fine. So she can get tokens. Uh, what else is given? But she did not receive a token from E. So she did not receive a token from E. Fine. That means E is not you know, awarding any token which is which can make 210. So she is not awarding 3, 2. She is not awarding 3. She is not awarding 5. She is not awarding 7. She cannot definitely award 13 because 13 is awarded by a, only one person is going to award 13. That means she's awarding what? 11. And if she's awarding 11 and Kaira is getting 77, which is a multiple of 11, she'll be getting a token from Esther. Understood? Fine. So that's what we have to do. Number crunching, nothing else. Factors we have to match. Rashida received the highest number of tokens that anyone received, but she didn't receive any token from Esther. BT awarded a token to Samira, but not to Kahara. BT awarded a token to uh, uh, Samira, but not Kahara. Fine. Which, that means 
that means Bithi is not avoiding any token which is going to make up uh, 77. That means she is not avoiding 7. Because 77 is the funding of Kyra and if she is going to avoid 7, then she is going to make 77. Or either way around, if Bithi is avoiding 7, she should avoid a token to Kyra because 77 is the money which Kyra is getting, which is practically not possible in this case. So Bithi is not avoiding 7. What else? And she is avoiding to Samira. That means BT is avoiding to Samira. So there can be a number which can be avoided to Samira. I mean, I have, don't, I have not figured out which number is that. Let's move ahead then. While Dhanvi avoided token to Kaira. Dhanvi avoided token to Kara. So Dhanvi is avoiding token to Kara. Kaira already got 11. That means Dhanvi must be, Dhanvi must be avoiding a token number 7. 77 I have to make. Dhanvi should avoid 7 number token. Otherwise, we cannot make 77. Fine. That means she is not awarding any token to uh, Kyra as well. She is not awarding 7. She is awarding 7. Fine. Now, once we have the idea about 77, 210, that means I can write 2, 3 and 5 in any order. I can write some number 390. I have to write 2, 3 is there. So 2 and 5 is there. Now 7 she is awarding. That means 7 she will not be giving to P because 390 is not the multiple of 7. E will not get give any token to P because 390 is not a multiple of 11. That's what we can conclude. Fine with this. Dhanvi awarded a token to Kara but not to Samira. That means Samira is not getting token from Dhanvi. Fine. So what I can conclude from this? Here the numbers are going to be 7. Why? Because 210 is a multiple of 7. Okay. 11 is awarded how many times? 3 times. 11 is awarded 3 times. And as of now, 11 is given only one time. So that means this is 11 and this is 11. If I look for the remaining two numbers, which are multiple of 11, these numbers are 165 and 66, 77. I already know who got 77. So this is 165. This is 66. Or if this is 66, this is 165. Either which way, both of them will get multiples of 11 that means they will get funding from Esther fine and none of them is getting multiple of 7 so they will not get funding from this person understood so that's the information I can conclude what else we can do um, I can write 2 and 5 here I can write numbers here she is getting uh, 210 so she will be getting funding from B and C she is getting 310 so she will be getting funding from B and C I don't know who is distributing 2 who is distributing 5 because I could figure out she is distributing token value 13 Fine. She can distribute 2 or 5. She can distribute 5 or 2. Fatima is distributing 3. Okay. So this is what we have. Let's let's try and answer this question by taking this information to the next page. How many tokens did Kyra received? Kyra received 1 and 2 tokens, 7 and 11. Who among the following definitely received the token from BT? but not from uh, Danvi. Definitely is going to hint that there is a possibility. We don't consider a possibility in this case. Received token from Bithi, but not from Danvi. Kaira, Kaira received token from Danvi. So that is not the answer because we have to, to find who is not uh, uh, getting token from Danvi. So let's figure out who is not getting token from Danvi. Uh, S and T are not getting the token from Danvi. Yes, P is not getting the token from Danvi. So P is the answer choice. Yes, P can be the answer choice. So what is our question asking for? Who among the following definitely receive a token from BT but not from Danvi? So BT must have given the token to Pragyana because she is getting 390 and she is award, awarding either 2 or 5 either which way she has to get a token from BT but she is not getting from Danvi so my answer is C. If I look at T, T is maybe getting token from uh, uh, BT may not be getting the token from BT that depends. Let's say B, T is having 66 and that BT is distributing 5. So she will get 2. 2 from who? C. So that is maybe a possibility, may not be a possibility. If BT is distributing 2, so she will get from BT. Fine. So that is that cannot be sure. Possibility is there. Tantra or T cannot get token from B. It may be a possibility, may not be a possibility. So that is not the answer. We got the answer C. So we don't have to check Rashida. Fine. Rashida in fact gave token to, Rashida got token from Dhanvi, so that is something which we can eliminate. How many tokens did Chaya award? Chaya awarded 
टोकन टू पी यस टू आर यस टू और फाइव वट एवर शी इज अवॉर्डिंग एंड वन ऑफ दीज टू बिकॉज इफ शी इज अवॉर्डिंग टू एंड ही इज गेटिंग शी इज गेटिंग सिक्सटी सिक्स शील अवॉर्ड वन ऑफ द टोकन ऑफ टू एंड फाइव टू इधर एस और टी डिपेंडिंग डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अमाउंट दे आर गेटिंग इफ दे आर गेटिंग सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड शी इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू शील गिव टू टू एस एंड इफ शी इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग फाइव एंड एस इज गेटिंग वन सिक्सटी फाइव शील गिव वन टोकन टू एस सो इन एनी केस C is going to distribute how many tokens? Three. Fine. How many tokens did Samira get? Samira get how many tokens? One, two, and three. One of these two, because Samira is getting either sixty-six or one sixty-five. In any case, she is going to get how many tokens? Three tokens. Or we can say this is the token which B T is going to distribute. It is mentioned already in the question. So this is the token she is getting from B T. I don't know whether it is two or five. This is the token she is getting from Esther. This is the token she is getting from Fatima. So she is getting three tokens. Understood? Fine. Uh, which of the following could be the amount of funding that Tantra received? Tantra can receive sixty-six or one sixty-five. That cannot be sure about it. So it can be both A and B. Right? That is the amount of funding she can receive. Fine with this. So this will be it from this episode. Thank you so much guys for participating keep studying keep working hard all the best